Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I am going to tell you results of the Kingspec P3 256 SATA 3 cheap Chinese SSD from AliExpress. As usual my first step is to start Crystal Disk Info and check all the SSD specification. Crystal Disk Info reports that the SSD is completely new and it was turned on just two times. Running Crystal Disk Mark 4 times with 100% free capacity, 80% free capacity, 50 and 20% free capacity. The values are slightly deviating, but overall the scores are very consistent across the board and the performance does not decrease with reduced capacity of the free space on the SSD. As SSD benchmark demonstrates slightly different picture. Even though the read performance is almost identical across all the four tests with 180, 50 and 20% free capacity on the SSD, we can see that the write performance is slowly degrading with less and less free capacity available on the SSD. Overall SSD score is also going from 630 points to 576 points with just 20% free capacity on the SSD. What is even more unpleasant is that the SSD access latency is increasing with decreased amount of free space on the SSD. With 100% free capacity, SSD is response with 56 microseconds for the read access and 168 microseconds for the write access. With 20% free capacity, the access latencies are jumping up to 216 microseconds read access and 233 microseconds write access latency. After running Crystal Disk Mark and SSD benchmarks, I perform torture of the SSD. This part of task consists of consequent 5TB write onto the SSD. I have made my custom program, which is writing completely random data onto the SSD, and then erasing SSD and repeating it again and again until 5TB of data has been written. This process took me around 24-30 hours to write 5TB onto a Kingspec P3 256GB. Compared to King DN SSD, which took just 12 to 14 hours, this is double as much, but it is in line with Waiting Tall SSD, which also took around 24 30 hours, and significantly better than Fujitsu SSD, which consumed 72 hours. The good news is that the SSD performance was consistent across entire test, at the beginning of the test, and at the end of the test, when almost 5 terabyte were written to the SSD. SSD was behaving well, access time was not increasing to the very high values, and SSD did not die. After 5 terabytes of data has been read into the SSD, I perform Crystal Disk Mark and SSD Benchmarks once again. After writing 5 terabytes of data onto Kingspec P3 256GB, Crystal Disk Info is showing very interesting data. Even though my program wrote just a bit more than 5 terabyte of data, total NAND writes are about 10 terabytes. This is very unexpected. Usually total NAND writes are less than total host writes because SSD controllers are smart enough and if the data is equal to what is already written on the SSD, they do not write it again. In this case, total NAND writes are almost twice as much as total host writes. I'm not sure what's going on here, but if it's true, this means the endurance or lifespan of this SSD is gonna be worse compared to the other SSDs. Nevertheless, even after writing 5TB of data on the Kingspec P3256, Crystal Disk Mark is indicating quite consistent results and very much in line with what we have got before writing 5TB of data. 100%. 80%, 50% and 20% free capacity results are very much unlike, with one exception. 100% free capacity result is having slightly lower results, this test was executed right immediately after 5TB of data has been read into the SSD and maybe it has got some impact of the previous workloads, but I have decided to include this benchmark to have a better overall picture of the SSD. As SSD benchmark is indicating the same picture. This time all four tests are having more than 600 points overall SSD score, read and write performance is very consistent across all the tests, access time latency is increasing with a decreased amount of free space on the SSD. The results are very much the same when compared to what we have got before writing 5TB of data onto the SSD.
Thus, I can conclude that this SSD's performance does not immediately degrade, with more and more data reading onto the SSD, which is a very good sign. Kingspec P3256GB also does not have sudden write performance drops, nor sudden read performance drops. It's performing pretty steadily, access time latency is increasing with decreased free space capacity, but that we have seen with all other Chinese SSDs as well. Now, let's take a look at the common chart where I compare all the tested Chinese SSDs and Samsung Evo 860 2TB. Even though Kingspec P3 256GB is performing very consistent, its overall performance is slightly worse than Waiting for WS 256GB. The biggest difference can be seen in sequential read performance, where Waiting Tall scores 539 MB per second and Kingspec P3256 scores 477 MB per second. Another place is Random Write, 307 MB per second for the Waiting Tall drive and 247 MB per second for the Kingspec P3256 GB. As SSD benchmark has the biggest difference between Kingspec and Waiting Tall drives when using 64 threads to read and write data. Waiting Tall provides 164 megabytes per second when reading data and 260 megabytes per second when writing data. Kingspec has just 119 megabytes per second when reading data and 214 megabytes per second when writing data. Kingspec has also slightly worse access time latency when compared to Waiting Tall. Read latency for Waiting Tall is 105 microseconds, for Kingspec 142. Write access latency is 167 microseconds for Wait and Hall and 175 microseconds for Kingspec. All in all, Kingspec P3 256GB is a very decent cheap SSD, which I cannot recommend but also cannot discourage you from buying it. The SSD does not have any major flaws, but it also does not provide the best performance for your money. If I would have to pick out of all the tested SSDs, I would still pick King Dian. For King Spec, my score would be 7 out of 10. This SSD performs extremely similar to the Waiting Tall drive, but overall performance is slightly worse. Link to the AliExpress shop where I bought the SSD you will find in the video description. Right now the SSD costs 26 euros, but I have paid 28 euros for the SSD. As I said before, for this price I would rather pick King DN SSD. For the alternatives, I am still planning to test Long Disk, LV Cards and Golden Fear. I have already tested Fujitsu, King DN and Waiting Tall. Fujitsu is a very bad drive that you have to avoid. King DN is the best one so far and Waiting Tall is also a good alternative. For now, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have enjoyed it, goodbye.